Hello, I'm Out of Context Elliot, and welcome back to another episode of the Just My Voice podcast. Since I've men ta- spoken in the last episode, last episode I went and saw Puss in Boots 2, and talked about that movie extensively without going into spoilers. I know a lot of people were telling me um, that they didn't listen to it because they wanted to avoid spoilers. I might, might should have mentioned maybe spoiler-free in the title. But alas, um, I was a fool. Something else happened. Christmas happened. And I announced that I was going to start posting these on YouTube for Christmas. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I'm coming back, guys. I'm coming back. I, so many of you are like, what? He's coming back? And then some of you are like, oh, wow, he's coming back. Wow, that 20-minute rant is so genuine. Wow. I'm so touched, you know? uh, It's only been like a month since I posted the finale. Not even. Not even a month. I posted that video uh, November 30th, and I'm recording this the 29th of December. Not even a month. Yowza. (laughs) Um... Call that a retirement, if you will. Um, as of right now, it's not a full-fledged return. I will say, though, I'm looking to be done with streaming. I, I don't care about um, streaming anymore. I, I don't. I think that's a terrible environment, and I... Uh, I, I kind of... Um, just want to move on from that. I'm realizing that that's not working, and I don't like it. Um, So, yeah. That's not really working out. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of streaming, because I'm, I'm seeing every day that, like, this streamer got swatted. This streamer got doxxed on live. Like, why, man? Like, it's like, oh my god. I um, I was listening to a podcast, Anthony Padilla's podcast with Cutie Cinderella, um, yesterday, and she said she talked a bit about how she had diagnosed PTSD from a time she was swatted, and that just is horrifying to think about. I'm not nearly that famous, but if I was, I'd be terrified because I have a family that lives with me, and I am not putting them in danger, and also, I just stopped liking the process. I didn't like having to basically turn myself on for two hours. Maybe not the best choice of words there, but it's like, hey, all right. Hey, guys, what's up? I like men. (laughs) And then just that for two hours, you know? I didn't like that. I It's draining. <laughs> what That's something a lot of people don't realize. How tiring recording sessions and how tiring um, streams are. Like, I always have to lie down after I record one of these. Because I'm like, oh my god, it's over. Not when I have... When I have buddies with me, it's okay. Like, when I had the recollection writers with me, it was okay. I was able to just move on. But... And when I had Crypt with me last week, I also found my way, found myself able to just move on. Um, so I, I was all right, you know? However, when I sit and record one of these for myself, like, it's rambling time. I was like, oh my god, I am tired. I am tired, man. There was, there was a lot in that that I was just like, oh my god, what am I saying? Um... Yeah, but this episode is also going to be found on YouTube with a camera addition to it. So, there's that. That's always exciting. Um, This episode airs Friday the 30th, the day before New Year's. I, um, I was thinking maybe if I talked about the end of the year a bit, but I feel like the end of the year... Everyone tends to view the end of the year as, like, a reflection 
on especially in the last couple of years like i see it as like a chance to move forward like we're done everything that happened this year happened we're moving on to the next one right every every you know i like to see it as that so i like to i don't like to reflect on i i reflect every day anyway i don't need to have a holiday dedicated to it um <coughs> Uh, sorry, I'm also a little tired this morning. I'm recording this in the morning, so I'm drinking guacamole gamer fart 9000. Uh, mm. Stay rejuvenated. And I just got to fill an hour of time with this. So yeah, New Year's is happening. Uh, New Year's is always a fun holiday. Um, I don't mind New Year's. I don't mind New Year's. It Compared to some of the other holidays, like... Uh, um, Christmas and Mother's Day and Valentine's Day and um, Father's Day, all those ones that I hate. Not the biggest fan of Easter either. Um, th not Thanksgiving either, or uh, Fourth of July. All of you Americans in my chat are like, what? You don't like 4th of July? You don't like celebrating the day your country was founded? Um, I don't like uh, how firework companies capitalize on it. Oh yeah, firework company, come on. December and July are their like biggest times of the year because, you know, 4th of July plus New Year's. Like, come on, man. I don't like, I don't like... I hate that I love capitalism. Um, I've already talked about this extensively. I spent like a whole podcast talking about this, ranting about corporate stuff. Yeah, now we are moving into the new year. Christmas also happened. I got some good stuff for Christmas. I got a shirt I'm going to show off tomorrow at our New Year's Eve party we're going to. I'm going to be the hottest guy at the party. Holy shit. I look fantastic in this shirt. Like, it, and it is not only just, like, a good, a shirt that looks good on me, but it's also just a good shirt. And that I'm proud of, because I look fantastic in a fantastic shirt. Those are the kinds of shirts you want to look fantastic in. Like, I, I've been told extensively by several people, I don't know why, but I look really good in orange. Like, bright orange. It pops, it matches my skin tone very well. I don't understand why. <laughs> it's why I don't wear orange, because orange is kind of ugly. And I don't like <laughs> ugly shirts like that. <laughs> so I don't typically wear bright orange colors wow what a shocker there i also um i might invest in a new webcam i kind of need a new webcam bad you know what i because my new i have a logitech webcam and it sucks i've already invested in a new mouse um i need an upgrade on that i'm keeping the loud ass keyboard don't worry chat i'm keeping the loud ass keyboard <laughs> i love the loud ass keyboard my $11 Kensington. I love that name. I just love... I like cheap things. I'm a sucker for cheap things. Um, I could talk to death about my earbuds. I, I got a new pair, an upgraded pair of, for Christmas. And they're like... The technology is miles behind Apple and AirPods and all that. But I, I still talk extensively about it. Um, because I think they're great. They're called Jaybirds. I, uh, I got a new pair for Christmas because my old pair was kind of dying. I, I've had those for like two years. I also got new shoes for running. I, um, cause I'm, I've talked about this. Runners, how many of you got new shoes for Christmas? Runners listening to this podcast, how many of you got new shoes? It's, it's that time of year. Parents love to take advantage of it. Great new, whether, whether or not it's time to bust them out or yet. Or not yet. When do you get? When did you get new shoes? I'm on my new pair. I uh, I got my last pair last June, late June. Now I got this pair late December. It's been six months. 
and then I went late September, and then late now late December. So, for those of you who don't know, running running shoes typically last like three months or X amount of miles, depending on how much you use them. So, that there's that. Also, I need to start like I need to remember when I record these, I sort of face the opposite way of my camera. So, um, I always end up, so I, I'm like texting right now and that's awkward. That's awkward. I, um, I probably shouldn't be doing that. I probably shouldn't be doing that because you know what happens when I text? I'm going to eventually get so addicted to texting that when I go to drive, I'm going to be just sitting there texting, you know, I'm just going to be sitting there like this, texting, 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 text, texting, Snapchat, 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 texting, Instagram, Discord, YouTube shorts, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, texting, texting, Facebook, ditches Facebook, Instagram, back to Instagram, and then texting, texting, and then I, all of a sudden, I'm just going to be driving. I'm going to be driving like this. I'm, I'm going to have no idea what's going on. I'm going to be looking at fucking lightsabers on Instagram, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to crash. I'm going to hit a Tesla. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit a very expensive Tesla, and then the driver's gonna come out. The driver's gonna have a broken leg. They're gonna be, like, hobbling in like this, like, ready to beat the shit out of me. And then I'm, they're gonna be like, come on, let me at him. Let me at him. And I'm just gonna be like, boop, because they're a Tesla driver. And then, so they're gonna fall backwards and quiver. And then, <laughs> and then they're just gonna be like, eh! like, you know, in that family guy when, um, there's that rapscallion dude who's flirting with Babs, and then Carter, Peter's like, hold on, I think I know how to take this guy down. Penis. And then the dude is just like, eh, yeah, I'm gonna basically be like, flick. And then the Tesla driver's gonna be like, eh, and then they're gonna fall back, and then, um, I'm gonna be like, well, I guess there are no witnesses. And the thing is, because the Tesla is miraculously, um, unharmed, I'm gonna steal the Tesla. And then I'm going to be texting in the Tesla. However, I, I'll, I'll have been smart and then activated the self-driving mode. So I'm basically going to have a Tesla now, but that dude's going to be dead. So then someone's going to find my car next to this dead corpse because I didn't really pick up the crime scene very well. And then what's eventually going to happen is that then someone's going to find that body. And then they're going to be like, license plate? Oh, this belongs to um, uh, this one woman who lives in this house. Hit and run, possibly. Oh, they, they have a broken leg. Must have also died. Um, wow, what a shocker. And then, you know, because it'll have, I'll have been driving my mom's car, uh, they're going to arrest my mom for a hit and run. And, um, you know, oopsie daisy. <laughs> oopsie daisy, and then my mom goes to jail. And then they're going to find out that that driver drives a Tesla. And I'm going to come home with that Tesla. And the cops are going to be there arresting my mom. And I'm going to be like, oh, hey, what's going on, officers? And they're going to be like, hey, this vehicle was reported stolen. And I'm going to be like, oh, was it? And then they're going to arrest me right there because I would not have been convincing there at all. So, and there I am. Jail. Boom jail i'm in jail with my own actually no my mother would have been moving in i would have probably signed a plea deal saying that i was solely responsible um and then the prosecutor is going to be like well another good day's work do to do and then all of a sudden he's going to pass out in his sleep because he's tired after a long day of work that's what's going to happen if i keep texting all right that's what's going to happen and I can't let that happen. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta avoid my texting addiction. Alright? I gotta avoid that at all costs. Mm. Holidays were fun this year. I got to enjoy the holidays. Um, they were fun. I got a bunch of stuff. I wonder if there's anything I can show up. I got, um... I got this pad thing that I can use to heat up my drinks. So when I'm drinking tea at my desk, I can keep keep it warm. 
My mom got one of these for my dad, too. I got one of these as like a white elephant gift that my mom put in there. I also got a really good shirt. Um, if I can find it. I believe this is the shirt. Yes, it is. Bam. It's very wrinkly. Um, it's just dog days. And my dog was a black lab. So, you know. I, 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 uh, I stole that in a white uh, as a white elephant gift. I also got some wine to go with it. First year competing in the adults bracket of our white elephant. And, um... Uh, I ended up walking out with alcohol. <laughs> Let's go, gang. And I told my mom, I was like, look, mom, hear me out. And then she was like, no, stop. And I'm like, mom, mom, wine tastes better aged. So what if we technically kept this as mine? However, you know, we just aged it a bit, you know? <laughs> we waited till I was able to drink it. Till I turn 21, and then it'll be all tasting better. Also, I got Crocs. I had a pair of Crocs. Yeah, those are in the camera. Crocs. Boom. Yeah, got a pair of Crocs. Something to wear around the house. Um, something to wear to the beach or whatever. Something to wear... Whenever I don't feel like wearing tennis shoes to school. Granted, I have to work out like every day after school. So it's kind of annoying. But, but alas, alas, woe is me. That is the life of a runner. We have to keep exercising or else. Also, my fitness journey is going horrible. Um, I am struggling to keep working out every day. And... Um, all that other stuff. I, I, I try to do like push ups before I go to bed. I, they're getting easier. Um, they are actually kind of easy now and doable. I can do push ups a lot better than I used to. Um, I'm also wearing a hoodie, so I can't really show off my physique, but I have gained some arm muscle. I have gained some there. This, though, still working on that. Still trying to make this a bit better. Still, uh, you know, trying to cut this up a bit. This this belly's a little, like, there have been days where I'm like, where I can see the abs coming in there. Um, but the hard thing is my diet, man. Like, getting through the holidays, there was sugar everywhere. I am telling you, boys. I had so many cookies. I've had so many cookies. It's like, oh my god. It's ridiculous. I, I got like a bunch of candy for Christmas. I'm like, oh my god, why? Woe is me. Woe is me. Woe is me. Yeah. Yeah, I, um... Like I said, though, um... New Year's Eve, a lot of people... A lot of people are making their resolutions, right? I, uh... I... I... My family, we're big on that. We're big on making commitments and then failing to commit to them we're big on that i was raised to always fail to my commitments um my personality type is like i'm always making commitments and coming up with ideas i'm just uh not the 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 generator or whatever it was the i'm like a real creative type and i'm always coming up with ideas for things i'm just never following through with them and that's very accurate to me yeah <laughs> So now I'm here, right? I that I was getting the results for that like after I um shortly after I announced I was quitting YouTube, so I'm like, "Oh shit." 
Uh, even on this podcast, I said I was going to do two a week, but then I just stopped, hated writing them, so I found it easier. But yeah, pretty interesting. Um, I need to, I'm going to, I have to like power through for 40 minutes because I need to, I want to have my, I want to breathe, man. I can't breathe out of my nose right now. I'm, December is off. Is always when November, December is when my allergy season rolls around and they stick through through winter. I have some allergies bad. So alas, I got some new Funko Pops for Christmas. I got uh, Kramer and Elaine from Seinfeld. I'm one of those people that takes their Funkos out of the box. I. I don't care if uh, if the value goes down. I um. I I can always, yeah. I don't I don't care about the value. Um. They I get to show them off and they get to sit there. I understand why people keep it in the box because you know it's reselling. But like I feel like I'll never resell them. So. I've had duplicates for like two years that I just haven't ditched. Two and a half years now. Um, that I just haven't ditched. <laughs> duplicates of Dwight Schrute from The Office. I'm waiting for... I can't always just sell those on eBay or Etsy or something. Um, online shopping isn't really my thing. I, I order things like... I'm not really... I buy in person. Like everything... I have for my setup was bought in person. I bought one of my monitors off a friend. I bought my PC off of a friend. I bought my um, keyboard, mouse, um, headphones, and my second monitor all at Fred Meyer. I bought um, I bought my speaker for when I'm watching with my sister. I bought that at Fred Meyer. Um, all, yeah, all this, all my stuff is just I got my head I got my headphone stand as a gift um yeah I I'm not one to shop online I did buy a mouse online though and I do plan on buying an external hard drive for my PC online because I want to be able to have like more games I have a friend who's been trying to get me to get payday too which I own the game I just don't have enough space for it <sighs> Which is kind of annoying, but I also don't <coughs> particularly give a shit. It does look like a fun game, though. <sighs> yeah, I've been get the game I've been playing a lot of is Stardew Valley. I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley. I honestly, after I'm done recording this podcast, I'm probably going to hop in my stardew valley playthrough i've i've thought about streaming it i've streamed a couple of times on it however i just again i don't really give a shit about streaming i want to just enjoy the game man i don't want to have to think about being entertaining that's something that like a lot of streamers when they say they started out it's like you know i i was playing a lot of video games i just never was um i just figured i i figured i was just wasting time I'm gonna, I'm, I figured might as well record it. I felt like I wasn't being productive enough, which is truthfully, that's kind of what, where I was at too. But eventually I was like, you know, I'm not really being productive doing this either. So when no one, when you're live to like zero viewers, it's basically like you're playing by yourself. So, and you're still commentating anyway. I'm like, you know, I, 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 I like, and over the summer, I discovered I like playing video games. I just like it. I like sitting down and just playing the game. I don't care about like forcing myself to be entertaining on it. I don't mind like the whole relaxing part. That's something I discovered like when I was finishing um, my Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga playthrough, I had like seven hours left to do, so I streamed all of it, and I hated it. I was miserable by the end. I was like, oh my god. 
what is this? I, and then I realized I still had more of the game to do, and I was like, ah. Uh, so I just. So I still have to play the Super Stories versions of the game, right? So I went and I played the Super Stories. And then I got through to Empire Strikes Back. Because I wanted to have a... I didn't want to have a happy ending. <laughs> so I, I played Empire Strikes Back. And I was fine. I had... Fun doing that, and then I, I was like, "Wow!" And it was kind of a surreal moment. I, I talked about this, and this was this was like four months ago, almost five. And then after, I want to say after that is when I realized, like, I don't give a shit about um, streaming on my. Own. I did stream a little World at War. I did stream a little bit of World at War, Zombies, um, but then I played Black Ops 3 and just decided I like that game a lot better, which I do. Um, I like that game significantly better. Um, if my PC was a lot stronger and it could handle better recordings, you would see some Black Ops 3 videos on this channel. You would, you would definitely see them because I like that game. Um, however, it's also not really much of a... I could talk to death about... I, I've been listening, all the Call of Duty Zombies YouTubers are like, yeah, nope, our time's up. We're never going to go back to where we were before. <laughs> never. <laughs> our time has passed. Because, as much as I hate to say, Call of Duty Zombies is kind of a dead franchise. Like, it's all multiplayer. Even then, like, the whole COD streaming community kind of sucks. Um, it's, I feel like the streaming is better if you're playing, like, Minecraft. I think the stream, the Minecraft community is a lot more alive than the Call of Duty community right now. Um, I haven't heard too much about Modern Warfare 2 in the last couple weeks. I assume people are still playing it. Um. Uh, but yeah, people are obviously still playing Minecraft. I'm still playing Minecraft behind the scenes a bit. I'm playing with buddies. I I significantly prefer just playing with them. You can get a lot more, like, also, when you're on camera playing with buddies, you can't get too personal. You can't talk about your personal lives because, you know, that's the whole world seeing you, right? You can't go into detail because, you know, there are people out there that just want to see you fail. So... You know, you, you gotta keep your eyes out for those people. Um, it's, you know, and then there's also, you know, when, when you're just talking to your buddies, you can just shoot the shit, play Minecraft. You know, it doesn't have to, doesn't have to be something you stream. You, you guys don't have to be funny. You can just chat, you know, you, you don't, you can, you can talk about your day like, you, like, like a normal person. It's like when you're trying to, I also look back and see older streams where I streamed with friends. I'm like audience first. I, I'm looking at the audience first. I'm trying, I'm think. I'm thinking about them. I'm not thinking about how um, my friend in this call is acting. In the early days, that was it. it it's in my like, in my early days, I was focusing on trying to the views. I was focusing on the view, the views, the viewers, and then by the by, like late spring, I sort of was just like, okay, you know, like all, on the Cards Against Humanity streams, I, I'm playing with friends, right? That's just me playing Cards Against Humanity with friends. I like those because you know I could say whatever the fuck I wanted because I was playing Cards Against Humanity. You know, we it was an offensive game, <laughs> so. You know, and those were also chaotic as fuck, so I didn't really condense them in any videos. Skadoosh got one though. Skadoosh got one. I, uh, I, I liked Skadoosh. Skadoosh was really good. I, uh, Skadoosh was like one of the most unintentionally hilarious, um, things that ever happened on stream. I, um, 
I, t- I talked to... I also... Uh, for on the Complete Saga, one of my favorite videos. Spencer has said it's one of my, his favorite videos that's been on my channel. And he said... And we were just recording. Like, the, there was nothing there. I was like, yo, um, I, you want... Because the plan with that was I just wanted to record and then edit it on the plane. I was I had a plane ride and I was just wanted something to do on my plane ride. So I edited that. And honestly, honestly, what I think I might do is I have a plane ride coming up in a couple weeks. I might honestly record a bunch of footage and then just edit it when I'm there. Like I I might I might do that. I have really no reason not to. Like get a bunch of footage, make a couple videos, make a video or two, and then just edit it. It's I, it's a six hour flight, so I'll have plenty of time. I'll be able to like watch a movie and then maybe honestly watch a second movie, um, <laughs> and then just um, and then just edit for like however long. See how much I time I get. I know the place we're staying at when I land in my place will not have Wi-Fi so you know I'll uh also my editing software works in airplane mode so I can I can still edit it and all that I just can't post it and then I'll be able to post it when we touch base or even then like when I get home that actually is something I need to think about a uh, podcast getting a podcast out because I'm it's Mar- I'm leaving Martin Luther King weekend which is in like a couple weeks. So I got to think about having a podcast ready in that time. Um, and that's fun. I, I do this occasionally where I plan my future while I'm recording these things. I do this. YouTube knows me, so I don't really need to be like, hi, YouTube. You know, YouTube probably knows me better than Spotify does. So, you know. I always have that, right? Always have that. <sighs> Man. Yeah. First first episode going on YouTube. I might go back and throw the other ones on there. In like times when I don't care. But also, maybe. Perhaps. I don't know. Perhaps. I know it's also winter break, so everyone's sleeping in unless you have work. All everyone who isn't working is sleeping in. Um so everyone gets to enjoy that life, right? I'm sure nothing wrong with that. <sighs> ah. I'm a bit tired today. I apologize. We're 30 minutes into this podcast. Okay. Okay. I've been doing pretty good for 30 minutes. If I do say so myself. Yeah. I, uh... I have been listening. It is really hard to... A lot of you don't know this, but it is actually really hard to record and to grow a podcast. Because it's something literally anybody can do. It's something like... Most of you... I bet you probably listen to this, this podcast and then maybe one other podcast. I, you're not like me where you listen to podcasts extensively because I lis- I have podcasts in the background while I play video games. My Stardew Valley playthroughs. I, I haven't just been playing Stardew Valley. I've been playing Stardew Valley with like stuff on in the background. I have to have something on in the background for me to think about and listen to. I need that. So, you know, if one of you guys has to sit down, that's why I, I always think like that's what I expect most of you to be doing. When you listen to one of these, you're doing something else and you're focusing on it. I, I like doing, whether it's homework or whether it's, you know, video games or you're driving or you're on a run or what, you're just working out in general, what have you, right? I, I, it makes sense. You know, that's, that's how, that's, that's the way podcasts are typically digested. So I, it, I understand the, the thought process behind it. So it's not really that out of the ordinary. Um, yeah. It's not like music where you can also enjoy it. And honestly, I listen to music 
more on its own than I listen to just podcasts on its own. You know? You feel me there? Music, like, I can... For example, lately, I've been getting really into The Killers. They're the band who sang Mr. Brightside. Um, you know, coming out of my cage and I've been doing just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. Started out with a kiss. How did it didn't end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. Now I'm falling asleep and she's calling a cab while he's having a smoke and she's taking a job. Now they're going to bed. And my stomach is sick, and it's all in my head, and she's touching his chest. Now he takes off her dress, now letting me go away. I just can't look, it's killing me. They're taking control. Jealousy turning saints into the sheets. Turning through sick lullabies, choking on your alibis, but it's just the price I pay. Destiny is calling me. Open up my inner eyes, cause I'm Mr. Brightside. And then guitar fades in. That song. That song. <laughs> Little tangent there. A little tangent there. I love that band. I'm talking. I'm. I'm thinking about that band a lot. I, that band is like slowly becoming my favorite band. They have a lot of like bangers that nobody talks about, and a lot of like, we. You want to talk about being transported? You. That's music that transports you. All right. Like great music to listen to when going to bed. The Killers. They have a really good album. Um, Day and Age, Hot Fuzz. Um. Lot of great, lot of great stuff. Lot of great stuff. Um, Be real, a clock hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened yet. <sighs> I had to check that. Yeah, a lot of great stuff. That band, a lot of great stuff. I. Yeah, somebody told me, spaceman. Read my mind when we were young. All the things that I've done on top. Run away. Dustland Fairy Tale. I love Dustland Fairy Tale. I also love Spaceman, the chorus. Uh, the Storm Maker says it ain't so bad. The Dream Maker's gonna make you mad. The spaceman says everybody looks down. It's all in your mind. You know, I love that chorus. I love that chorus. Oh, yeah, my microphone. I, I did not... Not microphone and... Mike Sand was a gift. Also, chair. Chair was also a gift, so... Some technology that I didn't pay for. Oh. Ugh. 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 Yeah talking about a conversation for a topic I mentioned like 20 minutes ago feel that feel that yeah but this is going on YouTube hi YouTube YouTube didn't miss my voice they don't they, they don't they could say all they want but they they uh, uh, you know you know you know I I think I might like sort of transform my you I, I am going to have like title this probably the just my voice podcast just my voice um whatever title i gotta think about the title what am i gonna name this thing you guys are gonna already have seen the name thing i was i've been thinking like um i'm back youtube something like this is going on youtube um, this is also on YouTube. You know, I, I announced that this podcast was going to be on YouTube a while ago. Um, or n not on... I, I announced this was going to be on YouTube on Christmas. And I may or may not have worn that shirt that I said I looked fantastic in. <laughs> and it also looks fantastic. It's a fantastic shirt. You guys, you guys saw it. That Hawaiian shirt that I was wearing and... 
I'm now wearing in the channel background. I do have a new channel background at the time of recording this. And I'm looking into getting a new image for this podcast that looks a bit better than it's just not my my PFP with the words just my voice sprinkled on it. <laughs> um, my boy XX Ronald Reagan XX outdid himself. I think I, I am like, he's like, yeah, I have nostalgia for the other one. But man, this one is so much better. And I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. I'm, I want to get that on my PC because that that's that would be a be that's just a badass PC wallpaper too. Um, I think that's a. I want to look at that background now. I'm just gonna stare it on this background. For those of you on YouTube, take it take a sec to look at that background. Just take a sec to look at it and to bask in its glory. And then, oh my God. Oh my god. Oh, I'm giddy. I'm actually giddy. I'm giddy looking at it. Oh my god. The red, the binary with the whole thing there. Um, yeah, and then I gotta, I gotta create a playlist for that. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. We also might have some dumbasses. Oh, we've lost some subscribers on the dumbasses channel. At least I think so. I'm going to check that channel again. Yeah, we've lost. We went up to 60, and then I think we, we've dropped back down. Um, the last thing we posted on the dumbasses podcast was the Outcast SMP trailer. Or on the, dumb, or the dumbasses podcast, also, we, we talked about airplanes. The whole time, ironically. And, yeah. I might bring back the popular upload section. Uh, I might bring that back. I might bring that back. I need to modify my channel a little bit. I wanted to have every playlist that I had. You know. And, uh... I also wanted to have some guests on this podcast. I might uh I might DM a few other people um if they're interested. I have I have one one of my buddy one of my content creator buddies um I let's I'm hoping he gets better. Uh he's in the hospital at the moment. I'm hoping or he's he's I don't think he's in the hospital actually. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I, I, I don't want to be spreading false information here. Uh, oh, he's alright. I think he's just sick. Yeah, he's just sick. We're good. We're good. Oh. Crisis averted. Oh, I was like... I, have an, I do have another friend who's in the hospital for problems. I'm not going to talk about her stuff, though. I don't think she wants it to be public here. Um, yeah. She's also doing all right. I'm hoping for her. I need to get this stuff out of my nose. Oh, my God. I can't breathe right now. I can't close my mouth for an extensive amount of time because I'll, I'll be like, oh, I'll come up for air. And it'll be, how long have we gone? 43 minutes? Ah, you know what? You know what, gang? I think that's a good place to call it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the recording there. I, I've, en I've enjoyed this recording. Um, I hope y'all can enjoy your day. I hope whatever you're doing is enjoyable. Now, I think that's gonna be the end of this episode of the Just My Voice podcast. Uh, that's pretty much out, fam. All right, that's pretty much it. Peace out, fam. I forgot my intro. It's been so long.